Leon S. Kennedy deserves every ounce of adoration he's earned from Resident Evil fans over his 18 years with the franchise. We were right alongside Leon the first time we witnessed the full impact of the Raccoon City outbreak, linking us to him forever. From Rookie Cop to the President's personal agent, this is the evolution of Leon S. Kennedy. We've all heard of rough first days on the job, but the beginning of Leon's story in Resident Evil 2 is ridiculous. Leon rolls into Raccoon City in the fall of 98, ready to start his new job as a police officer. Unfortunately, this happens to be the very same night that the leaked T-Virus turns everyone into zombies. In a chance encounter, Leon crosses paths with a young woman named Claire Redfield, who is searching for her brother Chris. The two join up and make their way to the police department where Leon finds his would-be work environment in absolute disarray. Zombie cops shamble around the precinct, interested in welcoming Leon in a most unpleasant manner. Those zombified policemen, by the way, have completely different uniforms than Leon, who appears to have worn his own interpretation of the RPD blues to his first day on the job. Over the course of his adventure, Leon encounters a weaponized B.O.W., battles the mutated umbrella scientist William Birkin, and even takes a bullet for Femme Fatale Ada Wong. In the end, Leon and Claire work in tandem to escape the city with Dr. Birkin's daughter, Sherry, as the underground umbrella facility self-destructs. Before Leon and Claire can even catch their breath, the two swear vengeance on the corrupt pharmaceutical company. An epilogue at the end of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis hints that after the events of Resident Evil 2, Leon is offered a deal with the US government. Sure enough, when Leon returns in Resident Evil 4, set in 2004, he's traveling across the world on a mission to rescue the president's daughter. Ashley Graham has been captured by a mysterious cult somewhere in Spain. Leon shows up sporting his trademark parted hairstyle, but the rest of his look is new. A black tactical getup and a stylish bomber jacket, which he quickly sheds when things start to heat up. With Umbrella on ice, a new biological threat called Las Plagas has surfaced and infected an entire population. Leon battles his way through hordes of armed, brainwashed ganados, each host to the nasty parasite. These enemies are veritable geniuses compared to the zombies Leon encountered in Raccoon City. Leon runs into the mysterious Ada Wong once again, who is trying to retrieve a sample of the Plagas parasite for a mysterious employer, who may or may not wear sunglasses constantly. Over the course of his action-packed adventure, Leon is temporarily infected with the Plagas Parasite, chased by the towering statue of a Napoleonic maniac, attacked by a former comrade, and much, much more. In the end, Leon defeats Sadler and jet skis off into the sunset with the President's daughter, safe and sound. The dramatic events of Resident Evil 4 must not have turned off Leon from working for the US government too much, because he's still the president's go-to agent when Resident Evil 6 begins, taking place in 2013. This time, Leon wears a sharp tactical vest along with a badass motorcycle jacket. President Benford is preparing to address the public at an assembly in Tall Oaks about the truth behind the Raccoon City outbreak when a bioterror organization called Neo Umbrella unleashes a virus that turns its population into zombies, including the president. Leon and his partner Helena are forced to assassinate the president and attempt an escape from Tall Oaks as it erupts into chaos, an event that gives Leon an all too real case of deja vu. Leon and Helena are framed for the attacks by the leader of Neo Umbrella, a maniacal scientist named Derek Simmons. The duo learn Simmons is in China and hop on the first flight there. The two battle an infectious monster aboard the plane and crash land in China, which has been completely saturated with the C virus. Leon eventually runs into Chris Redfield, who's pursuing a woman who looks exactly like Ada Wong. Ever the softy for Ada, Leon stops Chris, and the woman, actually an evil doppelganger, escapes. Leon and Helena eventually chase down Simmons, who becomes infected by the unpredictable C-Virus. The two agents battle the persistent menace across multiple stages of mutation, finally harnessing the power of lightning to do him in. Simmons dies in one of the most appropriately dramatic deaths in Resident Evil history. Luckily, the two find an escape chopper with evidence left behind by Ada, clearing their names from the bioterror attacks while pinning guilt on Simmons. The last we see of Leon, 
he's saying his goodbyes to Helena while reflecting on a keepsake of Ada's. Who can say if the star-crossed agents will ever meet again? Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, please follow us on Twitter at re underscore games, like the Resident Evil Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.